Okay, so what we're going to do is another example. I read a file. What can I do with a file? Okay, well, I'm reading movies and I want to ask my end user for a particular movie. And then when the end user gives me um, that movie, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to, uh, for that movie, find out on which day it shows, and I'm going to show the end user which day it shows. So I'm going to say, which movie would you like to see? I want to see Amadeus. Okay, Amadeus show on Monday. That is what I want to write. So I just want to show you very quickly again what is my um, file look like. My file looks like this. Monday is Amadeus. It's drama. And um, on Tuesday is Birdman, etc. So... Can you see the first three characters? It tells me when that movie is showing. So if I, let's say I want to see Batman, I want the computer to just show that Wednesday. So if I want to see Scarface, I just want to know it's on Thursday. So that's what I want to do. So let's see what's happening. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to get information from the end user. Okay. So I'm going to say, um, let's uh, put here, I'm going to say, uh, get input from, or I'm going to say get movie name, movie name from end user. So I'm going to ask him, so how would I do that? I'm firstly, I'm going to create a scanner. So if I go scanner, um, and I'm going to say input uh, equals new scanner, and I'm going to say system, uh, system dot in, okay? Now, the reason why I do that, okay, um, because you're going to ask me, why do I do that? I've already got a scanner. Now, I've got to create a new scanner. I've got to create two scanners, one that reads from system in and the other one that reads from the file, okay? So, we've already done how to read from a file in other videos. So, um, now, this time I want to read from system in, okay? And I'm going to say... Uh, string movie name uh, equals input dot next line okay but now I just have to remember to tell my end user what he must type in otherwise I'm going to know he's going to not be able to know unless I tell him okay so I'm going to say which movie okay let's write it nicely movie would you like to see okay so that is my prompt to my end user so the end user um uh, let's just give it a bit more space here. so here i say okay i say create a scanner show my end user the message which movie would you like to see and now read what the end user types and put it into movie name okay so this next line will read what the what the end user types and it will put it into movie name okay now i open my scanner that will read from the file okay so we've done this open up of file name before and now i'm going to say um read that file for as long as it's got something to read scanner it has next has it got something to read well if it has read it okay go next line read the next line okay and then uh, put what you've read into line and now i want to say if line dot contains what must it contain movie name okay and if it contains movie name then i want to see so it's going to uh, be a sys out so show me and i want to see line but now I don't want to see the line. I just want to see the first three characters of that line. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to do it with a substring. And I'm going to say, show me the characters from the position zero to the position three. So um, when I say substring, it says take this string variable, string, take this string. And give me a substring of that string. Okay. So only some characters of that. And which to show? Characters 0, 1, and 2. It's not going to show characters 3. I'm going to say the end index will not be included in my output. Okay. I just want to make this more interesting to read. I'm going to say, 
um, I'm going to say and because I want it to print on the same line, I'm not going to say print line, I'm just going to say print. I'm going to say um, movie name plus shows on. Okay. And then it will tell me when it shows because it will chop off from the line the first three characters, which is the name, the day when it shows. Okay, so let's run this. So if I run it, okay. I launch. Okay, which movie would you like to see? I want to see Batman. Batman shows on Wednesday. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, let's see uh, Scarface. Scarface shows on Thursday. Okay, that's wonderful. So let's just quickly revise. Um, I get from the end user when they want to go to movies and that is in movie name. I then open the file as we've seen before in another movie, how to open my file and how to iterate my file. So here I read iterate every row or every record in that file. And for each record, I put it into the string variable line. And for each one, I, I check if it's got that movie name and then I just show the first three characters. So, and then again, I close my, my objects and um, I just print finish. And that's how simple it is.